Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be cooking rice pudding on the barbecue. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. And don't forget everything you use in my video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. So make sure you check that out at the end of this video. So as I said in today's video, what we're going to be doing is an easy rice pudding on the baby Q. Now you can do this on a Weber Genesis, you can do it on the kettle. All you need is an indirect low heat and you want to keep it around 130 to 150 degrees Celsius. I'll put on screen what is in Fahrenheit and you're going to be cooking it for around an hour and a half to two hours. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. So there's a couple of things you're going to need for this recipe today and the first thing is a casserole dish. Now you can use the QA dish or you can use a casserole dish like this, entirely what you've got in your kitchen. What you do now is dive in, get this Q lit, grab the ingredients, I'll quickly go through what they are and then we'll start making this rice pudding. So what we'll do is dive back into it. Rice, you need some skimmed milk. You're gonna want some arborio rice, some sugar, brown or white, and some nutmeg. So we've got our casserole dish, so we're just gonna start by rubbing some butter around there just to grease the edge up. Now we've greased our casserole dish. We're gonna add our sugar, our washed rice, and our milk. And just sprinkle some nutmeg on the top. Right, so our cube's been preheating for around 10 minutes and we've got our rice pudding all mixed in that casserole dish, so it's time to get it on the queue. Right, so that rice pudding's come off that queue and it smells divine, so it's time to dive in and give it a taste test. Now don't forget everything you use in my video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. So make sure you check those out at the end of this video. As you can see that rice pudding turned out superb, it's really easy to do and you can put some jam with it, the kids really enjoy it. And you can cook this while you're camping, so if you're away from home, you've still got the option to cook your rice pudding dessert. So we cooked that for around 90 minutes, so it's nice and wobbly and it's not dried out. And it had a beautiful crust on the top. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any couple episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is a cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. So as you can see, that rice pudding. Right. So what we'll do now is we'll dive in, get this cute. So 